Hi there, I'm Tiercy, and I want to welcome you to the Unreasonably Grateful podcast. Um, the byline of this is Living in Grace by Choice. So it's kind of perfect because I want to share with you today a tip for how do we keep our heart open, stay out of any mental loop that's kind of distracting us or trying to take us down and actually live in grace. So uh, first of all, welcome. Some of you have been with me for a while. I have to tell you every week when someone says, oh, I listened to your podcast. It was so great. It's amazing. It's awesome because I too have my own doubts about, is this helpful? Are people enjoying it? Is it meaningful? I have those same thoughts too. So when I hear from you, it just reminds me that sharing our stories can be valuable, that we learn from one another's stories, and that, um, you know, while I don't have your answers, oftentimes we can see something in somebody else's life that makes it easier for us to see something about ourselves, something that perhaps we haven't seen in that same way before, and it gives us an insight or helps us see a lesson and move along our own path a little bit further. And I don't know, I, I like to think that we're all on this path together and it's really wonderful to be able to hold hands with somebody and encourage each other along the way. So if you're new, welcome. Great to have you. And if you've been with here for a while, thank you. So grateful that you're a part of my journey and I'm a part of yours and I don't take that for granted. So, okay. So we're in a series now that's kind of under the broad spectrum of love. And I'm not talking about um, romantic love or even familial love, but more the big love, the agape love, the unceasing flow of energy that flows in us and through us and around us to the degree that we can get out of the way. So this week I had the opportunity to speak to a few people, which is a reminder that I do individual sessions on Tuesday. Uh, you can sign up on my website, tercyinglehart.com, if you're interested. It's on a donation basis. And I love that I'm getting to know some of you a little bit more personally and go a little bit more in depth and just share with you what I see and uh, how amazing and beautiful and incredible I think you are. And sometimes that'll help you see, yeah, your own beauty and the perfection of you, which is a honor to sit and witness. So anyway, I was talking to a few people who were really stuck in like a mental loop and they just couldn't get out of it. Might even not have been able to sleep well. They were just kind of trapped in this sort of doom and gloom. And usually those mental loops take us to the past in some sort of regret or remorse or they jump us into the future in some fear or expectation. So I want to share with you a really simple little tip or tool that I utilize when I recognize that I'm kind of trapped in my own mental cage. <laughs> really, that's what it feels like, a hamster wheel. So here's the tip. Every day, every day, without fail, do something kind, something nice, something thoughtful, something generous for someone else, unexpected, undeserved, unearned, just for the heck of it. And what you'll find is you're looking for the opportunity of who that is, when that is, where it is, what it is. And it's such a beautiful, powerful way to keep us, to support us in staying in the present. And it also develops you as a kind and thoughtful and generous person. And you'll find that it's a very simple way to shift from your mind, from your head, in this like very small little journey to your heart. And it's a wonderful practice to keep in place. So 
Take that on this week, every day, seven days, and then keep it going after that. Find someone to do something unexpectedly, kind, generous, thoughtful, and notice the benefit that it is for you as well. Okay? Have a beautiful week, and I'll see you next week.